going to be too hard for you <laughs> not to take. And so to give me the clear best two teams in the country. Although Baylor, you know, showed that they were clearly the best team, but um, to give me Baylor and Gonzaga was exactly what I was hoping you would do. And thank you. Yes, of course. And, you know, I found myself after our bet having to cheer for an 11 seed UCLA. <laughs> Although I like Nick Cronin, I think he's a tough coach. Uh, I was, and then, and then, of course, the, the dreaded and feared Houston Cougars, who, um, you know, enter in, in, in the conference with my beloved Mustangs. It's a, yeah, the conference, I mean, tie in. I figured that that wouldn't be too hard. That's, yeah, it's, it was fine. I, um, I, I knew really at the end of the day, you were taking the entire tournament against Baylor, is what it ended up turning into, I think. Yes, it was. And, and let, let me just say, I have Baylor friends. It's all good. <laughs> um, uh, but I was not, uh, you know, found myself. I actually found myself wearing my wife out about this because it was like, imagine why is an SMU in this position? I'm so mad. I'm so furious. And she, I think, you know, promptly tuned me out and said, Oh, it's okay, honey. They're going to get there, which is good of her. Which is very nice of her because you know, that is extremely optimistic, but you are a, a gentleman of optimism. That's right. And so, you know, Okay. Uh, once once you're able to sit back in those seats and 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 watch it happen and unfold, you know maybe in the next eighteen years you'll you'll get there too. I mean, I just look. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I like the, the runway. Um, I feel like you know I, I'm I'm hearkening back to like 2017 when the Mustangs went you know 30 and five and had this you know gut punch of a loss in the first round. I'm like we had four NBA players on that roster. Blah 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 blah. We should have had Marcus Sasser, who's at Houston, in the Final Four. We should have had all these Baylor guys. How about one or two of them? We should have had the kid from Oral Roberts who took him on a magical run. I mean, you know, at, at this point, Lawrence. Just- it sounds great when you say it. I mean, it totally yeah. sounds totally doable to to think that every good player from every other team in the state and nearby would have ended up on the Mustang roster. I know they should. it sounds good. As they should it have. It sounds really good. You know, Sean, um, with me, hope springs eternal. So happy spring. <laughs> I, I, you know, the funny thing is, I, when you say that, I, I, and when we even talked about this earlier, I always think because you were in Tulsa, right, for that game. Oh my gosh, I I think I fell into the aisle. <laughs> so <it> Help <laughs> me up. <laughs> I was physically distraught. And that was twenty seventeen. Oh yes. Just, I mean, it just has not quite been the same since. I don't know that that magic. I mean, like you said, I mean, those are not only players that are on NBA rosters. We're talking about contributors. Shake Milton. I mean, uh, Shimmy Ojale. You know, now uh, Sterling Brown. Sterling Brown. Houston. I mean, those teams were great. You know. Ah, uh, anyway, you got me going. You see, you <laughs> that's exactly me. what I was hoping for. You're Thank you. Me to you know take the bait on everything as we related. So you know, oh, man. looks like you'll be winning more haystack in the future, Sean. Yep, as long as I can set it up where the, where you take the underdog, I think I'll be fine. <laughs> that's right. Well, hey, man, this was good. We um, are going to be joining. Uh, You guys, again, very soon, we're back in a rhythm. So thank you for listening. Thank you for um, bearing with us as we kind of navigated our way through recording through being in separate locations. So uh, we're seeming to be back on track. We'll be back with another episode very soon. But we want to thank for sure Trammell S. Crow and all the good folks at EarthX uh, for helping us out, for coming on and talking to us today. We want to thank our owners Mary Woodleaf and Jennifer Pascal. We want to thank Samantha Matthews for helping us with our show notes. MZ Studios, Michael Zavala for all of our technical support. Of course, we want to thank you, our listeners, for joining us and joining in. If you would not mind, please uh, give us five stars on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to your podcast. Share this podcast with your friends, with your families, with your neighbors. Whoever that you know who is in the podcast, make sure that you tell them about Deconstructing Dallas. You can find us on Twitter at Sean P. Williams, at S-H-A-W-N-P as in Patrick Williams, 
at rtrimble15 or Ryan Trimble. Uh, until the next time, you will find us wherever you find your podcast. Check us out. This is Sean Williams, Ryan Trimble, Deconstructing Dallas. Adios. <laughs>